Virgos, hey my loves, what is going on my soul tribe, my family, my love, love, loveies, this is going to be a quick read for you, I hope everybody is feeling amazing, I'm feeling amazing, this is Empress Meek, sending you love, light, and positive energy as always, alright, so trust in divine time and flew out. So, it's a situation right now that maybe you need to trust in divine timing that everything will work out according to plan. Everything is going to work out just as it should and it's going to happen at the right time. No need for you to rush it. No need for you to overthink. Just trust in the divine to guide you through peacefully, successfully, and everything is going to come around full circle. Um, this could definitely have something to do with love. Somebody that you love. We got twin flame here. Um, so let's see what's going on here. We're just going to dive right in, y'all. I already did your prayer. That's on a previous video that I posted previously. Thank you guys for your love and support. Your like, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and see. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Overall energy for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show us clear messages for the Virgo. What else do we have? Stability. All right. So somebody could be hoping for stability in a relationship. This could be a living situation. Um, but I feel like with this twin flame energy, you're going to be making a choice based off sincere emotions. Um, something definitely having to do with heart. You could have somebody here that loves you or somebody that you love and you're praying for things to be balanced between you and your person. Or this could be somebody's energy toward you. Let's see what else comes out, y'all. What else is here, Spirit? The past. So somebody is suffering. Something about the past. Feeling lack. Um, and feeling kind of down. Somebody is ashamed. Like this person is covering their face. They're feeling like they spilled all the cups out. It's giving five of cups energy. Um, I feel like somebody is ashamed. Somebody could be feeling frustrated. Um, and I feel like somebody has been really thinking about something. I feel like somebody feels stupid. Like really low. Like about something that they did. Somebody could be hoping for divine timing to come together for them to have another chance with you. Show me more spirit for Virgo. Let's get four more. Detachment. So somebody could be feeling very cold and detached. Somebody feels superior or something like that. It's like somebody is very calculated right now or they were. It's almost like since since whatever this was happened, somebody has grown cold. Somebody is not the same without you. Somebody is cold without you. It's like you warm this person up. You brighten this person's spirits. You make this person feel better about moving forward, about whatever they're doing, like conquering whatever they're doing. Yeah, there was some type of confusion here. Something unexpected happened from this person that you didn't see coming. At first, things were stable. Things felt good. There was a healthy harmony and flow of emotions, an even exchange. And then some type of confusion happened. I feel like you started seeing this person's true colors. With this illusion here, guys, Like I really do feel like you took off the rose-colored glasses and started seeing somebody for exactly who they were. I feel like you care for this person and you know that they care for you, but something happened that you didn't expect. I feel like you've been avoiding talking to this person. It's some type of conversation that really needs to be had and you've been avoiding it. Somebody could definitely be thinking a lot about you and you are not taking their calls. You're not talking to them. It's like you flipped the script on this person where one at one time you were always talking to this person. You guys were sharing with each other, talking, helping each other through situations. But now I feel like you're avoiding this person. And I feel like it has everything to do with you elevating. 
like something that you have been experiencing is taking you to the next level and i feel like it's this transformation it almost feels like ever since you walked away your life has gotten better but i really feel like it was just because you learned so many lessons you did the work you've been working on yourself you made the sacrifice and that's really what helped your life get better but it does have something to do with distancing yourself from this connection yeah I definitely see you here balancing your energy and just feeling very thankful for the present. It looks like you are practicing the law of gratitude. Um, and you've become a lot more abundant than you were when you were dealing with this person. Yeah, and with this self-worth and expectations, I definitely feel like you know your worth now. I mean, you probably had some confidence before, but not like now. Now, you really know your worth. You have expectations, standards set. And you're not changing them. Show me what's the energy for this twin flame. You're guarded. Feeling vulnerable when it comes to this person. This person is, they definitely flip some type of switch in you that makes you open. It makes you want to love. This could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is thinking about you right now. This person could use you, like they could use a friend right now, a real friend. And you always have been a real friend to this person. This person feels stupid about the way they treated you. Somebody could have chose somebody over you. But whatever this is, this Aries Leo Sagittarius is missing you and regretting their decision. Somebody let their ego get in the way of this relationship or this connection. With this communication here, you're definitely not talking to this person. You can have them blocked. And they're thinking about you a lot. They're wondering if you remember them, if you miss them. You remember the time that you guys spent together. Like somebody is wanting to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. This confusion. Like this person did some things that you didn't expect from them. You didn't think that they would do that. It's like you looked at this person as kind of innocent. But even though you knew they weren't innocent, but you didn't think that they would do anything toward you. But you found out that this person was trying to play you. They were like creating illusions for you, kind of telling you whatever. It's like it's almost like they were running game. Like they thought they were slick or something. And you didn't think of this person like that. You thought your relationship was better than that. But you found out that this person was really trying to play games with you. Mind games. And they regret it. They absolutely regret it. If they didn't know then, they sure know now that it was a very stupid choice. It was because they still want to communicate with you to this day. It's like you could have been a, away from this person for like four months, four years, four weeks, four days. Something have to do with the, having to do with the number four. Something having to do with the number eight. You could have even knew this person since you were 16. Something about intervals of four. This person regrets not taking your offer when you offered it to him to have a solid foundation with you. The person that this person chose was crappy. And now this person really secretly wants to get back with you, but they're not saying anything. This person misses the way you nurture them. They miss your compassion. I feel like you used to kiss this person on the forehead. Or they used to kiss you on the forehead. Those passionate, tender kisses and closeness and love. This person misses that. For some of y'all, it's your twin flame for a lot of you guys. They're thinking about you. Definitely thinking about you. Let's break this down, y'all. Let's break this down. We're about to get a little bit more. Let's go ahead and go through this reading. Definitely thinking about you secretly. They miss your passion. They miss how tender you are with them. I feel like nobody treated them like you. And this person had a facade. Like they were holding up a facade. They were. It's like they pretended not to be something else. But really deep down inside. They really love you. They miss you. They want you. But they never express this. Not like that. Like they, you probably knew. But they never really opened up fully and told you how they felt. Only sometimes, and I feel like when you guys had these um, heart-to-heart conversations, 
Um, I feel like this person was still suppressing how they really felt. I still feel like they weren't really giving you everything. Yeah, that's what I feel. So let's get some more cards, y'all. Let's let's see what else is here. Let's see what happened between you guys. I was trying to use these cards earlier and the same cards kept coming out. I wonder will it do that this time. Let's see. I'm going to use these instead so we won't have that problem. I'm going to save those cards later. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, thank you for giving me clear messages for Virgo. Show me clearly what this Virgo needs to know. All right, give me one on avoidance. What's going on with this avoidance? The runner. Yeah, this person definitely was running from the way they felt about you. Listening to Listening to their ego, not really wanting to be fully open with you because of how they felt about you. And it's because it's true love here. Like, this person really loves you. But they were running from that, from the feelings. Maybe they were trying to impress their friends. I don't know what they were trying to do right at this moment. Um, I'm sure the tarot will tell us more. But it looks like this person was in that runner energy. Give me um, communication, avoiding communication. Why? Passion, mm-hmm, In insane chemistry, liking each other, equally having fun, right? You guys had a lot of fun. This person missed talking to you, and they're thinking about this. With this communication and thinking, they're missing you. Show me trust. Trust in divine timing. Yeah. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. So... Where you usually would reconnect with this person by now. This is an on and off thing. This twin flame has been in your life for a few years now. Um, and usually when you would reconnect with this person, um, y'all would get back together and start another cycle. But this time you did not do that. Right? You've had a changed mind about this cycle and this person. And you've had growth to the point where you could take off the rose colored glasses and actually see... That this person created a lot of illusions for you. Show me twin flame. Self-indulgence. Focusing on your self-worth. Doing some shadow work. Healing. Like you're doing shadow work so you won't be so weak for this person. So you won't always go running back to them. The way this person can satisfy you and make you feel. Nobody could do that. Even if it's just emotional fulfillment. If you haven't had that type of pleasure with this person. It was still on a different level, right? And it's like almost like they knew exactly what to do. Not almost like they did know exactly what to do. Yeah. So present. We got interested in conversing more. A weighted message arrives. Text, call, email, and hovering. So somebody is going to send you a message or they're interested in talking more. Like somebody wants to talk to you. I feel like this person is going to message you. They could have messaged you from another phone. Um, and you pretended not to know who they were or you ignored it. Um, they see that you're very guarded. We got the golden mirror here. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship and love bombing. Yeah. You got, you're guarded because you, you got hit to this person's game. It's a lot of attraction here, right? And it like really could go down between you and this person. And it wasn't bad. But it's like, <laughs> you've realized that this person was full of themselves. You've realized that they were playing a game with you. You've realized that they were in this energy now that they knew, like they you developed feelings and y'all have this connection. They feel like you will always come back to them. Nobody can make you feel like them and all this other stuff. So... I feel like you started to avoid them. You started saying no more often. You started pulling away your energy. You started ignoring their calls and all of that. Show me confusion. Yeah. Because I feel like y'all really love this person. But you started putting all that love into yourself. You love this person unconditionally. 
that's that love right there. Unconditional love, baby. Like, you really did love this person unconditionally. You didn't care. You were supporting them. You were their friend. You were there for them. And they played a game. Like, even though they felt the same way, they would hide it with this facade. Like, they would hide it. And I feel like with this facade, messages, and then you got the memories here. So they're definitely thinking about you. Here's the memory card right here. They're definitely thinking about you. And I feel like they're going to message you from a fake number, from a block number, something like that. A fake page. Show me the past. Yeah, this person hurt you in the past. They told you a bunch of bull crap. With the sunglasses gaslighting, being really sweet, being really open, being really charming to get what they want. Yeah, and you're like, not today. I'm not. Things have changed. You don't feel the same way. Show me detachment. Yeah, they're cold and detached, but still reminiscing and thinking about you. Wanting to make new memories. They're doing their best to try to learn from these past situations. One thing this person does do is learn from the past. Stability, harmony. Some of y'all, for some of you guys, this person comes when they are in, in during their worst times. Look what came out on action. Girl with the snake. Yeah, being charmed or used. And I feel like that's what this person was doing. For some of y'all, this person used to use you for money. Just because they know you would spend it. Par um, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and wanting to make new memories. Yeah, somebody could see a picture that you may have posted. Show me nurture, compassion. Heart with the key. Getting together and perfect. Yeah, this person's thinking about you. They miss how you used to treat them. They definitely miss how you used to love them. Somebody is definitely stalking you with this daggone fake account, okay? Let's put this to the side and get the tarot to find out more. See what's up here. Let's find out from my Virgos what else is going on here with this person. This is like very deep energy, a deep love, a deep connection. Definitely soul ties here, um, past life relationship, all of that. Like, I feel all of that. Like, that's why I'm just like, my energy is like less playful because it's like very serious feelings involved. I don't know. It's got me like really into it. So let's see. We got nurturing. We got past lag. Let's do confusion. Twin flames. This is definitely an Aries Leo Sage for a lot of you guys. We got double fire of new beginnings. Person wants to start over, ready to take action towards you, but you're guarded. Like this person always pops out of nowhere, honestly. Um, trusting in divine timing. This person feels like right at the perfect timing, you guys are going to get together. Um, somebody's regretting not expressing to you how they feel right now. You're avoiding communication with this person. And they're thinking about you. So, let's see. And then messages. So, let's get down to the bottom of this. Let's find out what's going on here. Somebody definitely is at a crossroads here. Trying to figure out what to do. When to come towards you. Let's see what's going on here, Virgo. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guys. Oh, Virgo, love me. What is going on for my Virgos right now, Spirit? Show Virgo clearly what is up with this energy. If you're waiting on your personal reading, I think I have two more to do. You'll either get them this um, tonight or in the morning, okay? You got somebody thinking about you. This is a younger fire sign wanting to send you a message or they tried to send you a message and you're not responding. Somebody is realizing that they're blocked. This person is trying to plan how they're going to communicate with you, how they're going to see you again, 
what is the approach somebody's trying to figure out their next move yeah you are guarded standing on what you believe you have expectations you believe things should be done a certain way you don't take kindly to people playing games with you playing with your energy or wasting your time you definitely don't like people that try to use you and you were shocked when you found out that this is what this person was doing because you didn't think they were like that but now you know right so you're standing your ground justice you feel like it's justified that you avoid this person's um communication yeah and you could be older than this person. For some of y'all, it's a Taurus. Um, this person could be dealing with a Pisces. This is why you feel like it's justified. Somebody definitely kept secrets from you. They started being secretive. They went from telling you everything to keeping secrets about this relationship. For some of you guys, they want to have a secret relationship with you. They're thinking about this. Thinking about spending time with you at your house and you spending time at their house. Somebody wants to see you again. Yeah, they're thinking about this. Reminiscing a lot. All right? Because you're their wish. Male or female energy, y'all. You're their wish. Like, they want you. You fill all their cups. You make this person happy. Absolutely. So, you're guarded right now when it comes to this energy. You're not playing any more games with this person. You already let them pierce your heart before. You didn't expect it, but you know what it feels like, and you didn't think you would feel that from them, but you're doing your best to avoid them. You already know the power that they have, like you both have on each other, right? They're open. Look, and with this person, your intuition is like blocked, right? This person blocks your intuition when you come together. You just start doing things. Because it's a strong pull. And somebody doesn't want to deal with that. Yeah. Show me the hermit in reverse. It's not good energy. It's like it makes you go with the flow. That's what this judgment is. It's just like something about this energy is just like it's not cool. Right? It's like you get weak. You lower your guard. Your intuition is blocked. You just start going with the flow of this person. They're so passionate and fiery and persistent. It's hard to say no to this person. It's hard to use your better judgment with this person. Well, you would usually be able to go with them. Yeah. You had to. Yeah. You saw the death card fall on the judgment. A necessary ending. You don't want your intuition blocked with this person. You realize that you make careless mistakes and do things that you wouldn't normally do when you get with this person. Like things that you would usually take a mature approach on. You're just having fun doing it, going with the flow, and then you regret it. So somebody is saying no. Show me confusion. Yeah. It's, a, it's always confusion when they come back. Confusing your feelings, coming back, selling you a dream. All of these are promises in these cups. Making empty promises, making you feel good. Both of you guys make each other feel nostalgic. But mm -mm. somebody could want to give you a gift, bring you some flowers or something like that. Could be a Pisces for some of you guys. Show me the moon here. Oh, look what came out. The magician in reverse. Somebody could even be doing spell work because they want justice. But I feel like this is just somebody keeping secrets, trying to manipulate the energy to get what they want. Somebody definitely is feeling sad that you brought everything to a screeching halt. Where you were offering somebody something, you took it back. It's like you slowed down everything. To take a look at them, to examine what was happening here. You started realizing that somebody was not giving you what you deserve. Yeah, and it caused a bunch of arguing and conflict. Yeah. Somebody's pissed because you don't want their offer. Now the tables turn. Because they at first they were running. They had you chasing behind them or trying to convince them that they should take your offer. And now you took your offer back and now they're running behind you or stuck thinking about this. Wanting you to offer them your offer again. They're like, ask me again and I'll say yes. Yeah. So you're looking like, <laughs> you'll be lucky if you ever see me again. For some of you guys, you're over it. And you could have known this person for years. 
for a lot of you guys, you've known this person or been dealing with this person for at least six years. Six is significant here and four. Yeah, the devil. It's a toxic connection. Like it's it's kind of karmic because you guys it's about sex, a strong sexual attraction and connection, a soul tie. Right? This would be a karmic connection. Like they want to do it again. They want you to do this. Somebody could be offering you gifts for sex. <laughs> This person willing to do anything. They're having trouble putting the burdens down. They feel like they can't release this. Like they really desire you. And they can't stop thinking about it. They want you. Nobody makes them feel like you. They could have said this to you. That nobody makes you feel like. Nobody makes them feel like you. But nobody makes them feel like you do. They can't find it again. Show me ten of wands in the reverse for Virgo. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, you could be de definitely dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. But somebody wants to make you an offer. Somebody is stressing, okay? They are stressing. High Priestess, you're going to be hearing from a Pisces, possibly, wanting to offer you something. Is this Pisces going to offer you out? They want to take you out on a date? Wow. If you are waiting for money, okay? Expect some type of offer. Some of y'all could be getting an offer for a new job. But this is something that you previously worked for with this Ace of Pentacles. Something that you earned. Um, it's a lump sum of money or some type of offer. I, this is definitely good news and a blessing from God. Um, as far as money or something that's going to bring you a lot of stability. And usually it has something to do with money. And it also fell right on the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Somebody could even be wishing that they could have a relationship with you. Somebody sees that you make good money now. Something like that. Somebody feels like you can help them use their intuition. High priestess. They feel like you have the secrets and the knowledge to make money with the page of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Somebody's wish is to have more money. Be successful. Um, be grounded. And also be in a relationship with you. Somebody wants a stable, loving commitment. What does Virgo need to know for their highest good in closing? Wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody being emotionally manipulative. And the King of Swords. Okay. So the Queen of Cups in reverse is definitely a player. All right. Um, and this person is emotionally manipulative. This could be a mother figure that is unstable in their emotions or whatever the case may be. King of Swords. This is why somebody cut them off. So somebody could be dealing with an unstable water sign. And they're cutting this person off and wanting to come toward you. Somebody's saying that they should have chose you the whole time. They found out that this, this water sign that they were dealing with or they left you for was horrible. Or somebody's dealing with a terrible baby mama. Or just an awful mother figure. Or just an emotionally manipulative B-I-T-C-H. Okay, this is how they see this person, whoever this is. Virgo, look, you fit in with, get in where you fit in. I don't know which one is you right now um, between these two. I mean, we've all been upset before. We've all, I, look, no judgment here, but whoever is who, somebody is saying, this is how I saw this person at that time. And that's why I cut them off. This could even be your person's significant other. Because they were with a karmic from the past. And this karmic was manipulative. This person was an evil witch. Would it be? Instead of a W. Right? And yeah. Ten of Pentacles. This person, this, this person ruined the relationship that you had with your person. Right? Mm. They walked away from working with this person. This person left them this stressed out health issues and say this is terrible they miss you so much look they want to reconcile with you they cause a tower moment in this relationship somebody is saying they should have married you damn this person is going through it y'all this person is really stressed out Mm. 
This person is stressed out. Trying to get away with something. So this is what we have here, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments how this resonates with you. Um, and you guys can book your reading if you need a reading at close of the number to my destiny dot com. Um, I see what spirit wants to tell you. We're gonna pick a random one. A career transition. Reflect and reimagine your career. Decide to be intentional proactive and courageous about building a new career future so somebody is about to get a new job and i pulled energy before look transformational relationships as well this says surround yourself with good people and you'll find that previously unimaginable horizon unimaginable horizons will open up so mind the company you keep and look at this initial spark. There's potential in a person or a situation to develop into something in the future how you approach it is up to you all right, so this is for letting you know what's coming towards you. There's going to be some type of opportunity presented here. Somebody feels bad about ruining the past or whatever the case may be, and they want to talk to you. They're going to want to fix things. Somebody is stalking your page if you have social media. from. They're stalking your page from a fake account, okay? Well, I love you guys, and that was your advice. Thanks for being here with me, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Virgo.